In this video, we are introducing one portable handheld optical power meter. Let's turn it on. We can press the light button to turn on the LED backlighting to see the screen display better. It also has an auto shutoff feature. We can press the auto off button once to turn on this feature. An auto off symbol is shown on the screen which means the device will auto shut off after 10 minutes. This power meter is pre-calibrated to seven most common wavelengths, 850 nanometer, 980 nanometer, 1300 nanometer, 1310 nanometer, 1490 nanometer, 1550 nanometer, and 1625 nanometer. It shows a power measurement in dBm on the second row and nanowatt on the third row. So let's use a laser light source to test a fiber jumper cable. Here is a handheld single mode laser light source. Let's turn it on. Now it is emitting light at 1310 nanometer single mode at steady continuous mode. We can switch it to 270 hertz pulse mode. 1000 Hz pulse mode, 2000 Hz pulse mode, and we are switching it back to 0 Hz steady continuous mode. It has two lasers built in, 1550 nanometer and 1310 nanometer. We are going to use the 1550 nanometer light source. The light source has an FC adapter interface. Let's plug in an FC single mode patch cable. Then plug the other end of the patch cable to the power meter. The power meter also has an FC adapter interface, but it is interchangeable. We will show you how to change it in a minute. Now let's reference the light source. First, let's make sure we are switching the power meter to 1550 nanometer to match the light source. It is showing as negative 5.94 dBm. We are going to set this light source as a reference value at 0 dB. Switch to dB mode and press the 0 button and that sets the current power level as 0 dB reference level. Now let's plug in our jumper cable under test. Plug in one side to the light source adapter and the other end to the power meter. Let's make sure the cable is not under any stress. Now the power meter reads as negative 0.1 dB insertion lost. Now let's reverse the fiber jumper cable connector to make sure both connectors are good. This time it reads as negative 0.14 dB, which is within tolerance. The power meter has an interchangeable adapter. We can take it out and change to SC APC adapter. We also have LC adapter to measure LC patch cables. The power meter has a stand which makes desktop testing much easier. This power meter has a rechargeable lithium battery which provides 48 hours of continuous working on a single charge. It comes with a DC adapter to charge the battery. It also has a serial communication port to communicate with your computer. The serial cable is optional and you need to order it separately. This is a very rugged design, lightweight, only half a pound with rubber all around. Very convenient to use at a low cost. We have this in stock at Fiber Optics for Sale. Please visit fiberopticsforsale.com to order it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fiber optic training videos.